All right, so today we're gonna to be going over shot tracers and how to make a shot tracer just like good good. This is just gonna be one color and it's gonna be a zoomed in shot. So the ball will go out of frame. Here's an example of what we're gonna be making. Oh, diesel. It's a good looking shot. Oh my God. 10 feet, 10 feet. So as you can see, that ball does go out of frame. Next video, we'll make a video on how, or how to make a tracer without the ball or with the ball going, staying in frame the whole time. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do yeah, I'm showing this again. Shot zooms in. So the first thing we're going to want to do is import our video in here on the bottom left. And then go over to the right side and you'll see tracker over on that right side. And then go to track camera and then move over to the left side. Press cancel and then make the shot type um, variable zoom. And then we're going to analyze this shot and we'll get back. It takes a few minutes and we'll get back when that's done. All right, so we're just finishing up here and it will solve the camera. And then we're gonna wanna find the closest place where the ball lands. So we're gonna zoom in here. The ball lands right by the pin in this video. So we're gonna click or right click and we're gonna do create null. So then the track null will come up on the bottom left side here. After that, we're gonna go up to the left and do um, a new shape layer, create a new shape layer. And we're gonna wanna click this little square down here and that makes it a 3D shape. And also link that shape to the track null one that you just created. So after that's done, we're gonna go up to the pen tool and we are gonna create our, tra our tracer. So we're gonna go to the first frame before the impact of the ball. We're gonna click on the ball right in the middle And then up top, we're gonna figure out where that last goes right out of frame up top. And we can see the ball going out right there. After that, we cannot see the ball. So we're gonna click about how high we think that ball goes. This one goes about this high. So we're gonna click and drag to make this, this uh, make it rounded, make the shape rounded. This is gonna allow to make that, that uh, that ball flight very realistic. Now we're gonna make sure we have four different points. And then the last one I know ends at that pin, so I'm gonna click and hold right there. I'm gonna line this up, make it look a little better. There we go. So after that, we see the ball over here, we're a little off, so we're gonna drag that over and make this look like it follows the ball the whole time on that line. It's off right there, so we're gonna fix that and as you can see the ball is lining up pretty good there right on the line until right about up here it goes off a little so just try to make this as best you can as you see here it's really that ball is sitting right on that line the whole time so that is what you want next we're going to do that same thing for the the path going down. So we're gonna move forward in the frame and see where this ball ends up. And one thing I forgot to mention is we're gonna go to the contents shape and we're gonna turn off that stroke cause we don't want the stroke in there right now. We want to be able to see that ball right on that line. So we see the line is a bit off right now. So we're gonna drag this over That should be a boat good right there, maybe a little to the left. So we got where it lands, now we gotta, where it comes back in the frame going down, we gotta get that perfect. A little off here, so we're gonna drag this. There's that frame right there that it's just coming in, so we're gonna drag until we get that line perfectly on the ball. There we go. And that looks pretty good. So the next thing we're gonna do is go right back to that first frame, click on the shape layer and add right here, bottom left, we're gonna add a trim path. 
This is gonna make that ball flight where it follows the ball right along the, the path. Open up the trim path. So after we open up that trim path, we're gonna go and click the end and we're gonna drag that all the way to zero. So the next thing we're gonna do is go down to the bottom left and click the end stopwatch button. And we're gonna drag it to where that ball or that line is right at the ball. So right there, it's about halfway in between. As you can see, the ball is in between frames, so it's it's not gonna be a perfect circle. So halfway, so that looks pretty good there. And we're gonna just do this for the rest of them. I'll skip forward a little bit. I'll get back when I'm done with that. All right, so one thing I forgot to mention, we're gonna wanna change this color to red. You can change it to whatever color you want, but white does not work good with the clouds. I have learned that. And what I did there was I switched that end. I put that end up a little more because I know that this video goes up like that. The camera shoots up a little bit, so I wanna get that that uh, apex on the ball there. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the bottom. We're gonna go to that second frame in and we're just gonna guess. We put like 95 here and, or 96 and not enough. 97 is perfectly on. See that just a little behind the ball on the way down because then you can see that ball land perfectly with the, with the tracer. So we're gonna keep doing that for the bottom I'll fast forward, but once we're done with that, we'll, I'll show you how to fix this line here. So then when that ball lands, we're going to put a hundred, hundred percent right there. And then we're going to watch this over and see how this looks. And as you're going to see, it's a little fast right when it gets to that, right when it gets to the top here. It's, pretty fast so we're gonna go to a little trick here go to the graph editor click on end on the bottom left there graph editor and then here's our problem when this goes up so fast on these top three dots we're gonna delete that middle one goes up too fast and then this this last one here is way too high up and that's gonna show like the speed going up up to or up the the slope there so we're gonna make this a uh, uh, that rounded shape it's that bottom right thing and then we're gonna we're gonna watch this over once more and we're gonna be able to see that it's still really fast right there it cuts really fast on the top see that it comes down too fast too so we're gonna fix this here by going back to that, that graph, you know, back to that graph, zoom out a little. And we're just gonna bring this down a little bit. So we're gonna go to where this, it's coming down too fast here. So we're gonna bring the end, like just to right there about. You kinda gotta play with this. It takes a lot of time to get it, get it right. We're just gonna watch this again. And watch the peak, how it's a little slower up top right here. Yep. So right there, it's a little slower. And then it comes down, looks pretty good there. And now we're going to fix this. The end is too too wide over there. So we're going to fix that by going to the shape. We're going to close the trim path. We're going to go to the stroke. We're going to go down to the stroke width. So we're going to go back to the end or the beginning here and we're gonna go to the stroke width and make that size good for the beginning on the way up I'm gonna make it about the size of the ball like I said before that's pretty good there make that an even number 232 make it a round number and we're gonna keep going throughout the video, throughout the clip. And 
And then we, when we get to the end of this clip, right before it starts coming into the frame again, we're gonna set it to 233, just one after it. And then a couple frames later, we're gonna set it to a, a good number that makes it look makes it look good. So 50 is pretty good, maybe a little smaller to 40. Okay, so we just changed the stroke with the 40 here and now we're just gonna take a look and see how this looks. Looks really good. Um, the next thing I do is just to touch, touch it up a little bit, make that line a little, look a little nicer, is I'm gonna go to the shape layer I'm gonna go to effect or effects over here on the right side and type in glow. I'm gonna drag the glow layer to the shape layer. And then that's gonna just add a little glow as you can see here. And then I'll go to the top left and go to the glow radius. And I'm just gonna bump that up a little bit, make it glow a little bit more. And there's a lot of other things you can do with this line to make it how you want it to look. This is just my personal preference. And another thing that I think looks really nice is to go on, see how this is a flat layer right here. We're gonna go to the shape layer, um, go to stroke and line cap, and we're gonna change butt cap to round cap and then line join to round join. And you can see right now that cleans that up a lot. Makes that re look really nice. Now we're just gonna check it out again. Looks good. Drop, perfect. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I showed you how to make a shot tracer that goes out of frame and then back down into frame. In next video, I'll have it up on my channel here soon. I'm gonna show you how to make the in frame where the ball stays in the frame the whole way. It doesn't go up out of frame. I'll show you how to make that shot tracer. And then I'm also gonna show you how to do the color, color change where it goes from say red to white on the top, just like Good Good does it. I'll show you how to make that one in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you like this one, uh, subscribe and like the video and see you in the next one.